We're joined by Eugene Tan. He's Associate Professor at Singapore Management University's School of Law. Eugene, first off, what do you make of the changes? You know, were you expecting more wide-ranging, um, you know, changes in Cabinet? Um, to be honest, yes. I think there was the expectation that, um, you know, in the need to get the younger generation of leaders up to speed, um, you know, that they would have been assigned to more portfolios. So if you look at uh, um, uh, Minister Heng Sui Kiat, you know, he would still continue, he wouldn't have served in two portfolios, education and finance. Uh, and that's very much also the same for uh, the other 4G ministers, you know. So I, I would have thought that um, the plan would be to um, expose them to new assignments. Um, but I think PM Lee's intention was to make it abundantly clear, um, you know, that uh, Minister Heng Sui Kiat, you know, is... Um, the successor, um, you know, to, uh, to him, um, you know, that that there shouldn't be any doubt as to um, who the prime next prime minister would be, um, and I think you know this was really the whole purpose of, of of the cabinet reshuffle, you know, to to sharpen the focus right at the top of the of the cabinet, um, and to enable you know Mr. Hing now, you know, to have a big hand, a big say in moulding you know the, the next generation of leadership in terms of. Uh, who's going to play what role and, and, and how they're going to be prepared uh, for the roles that, 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 that they're going to assume. Um, so I think all said, you know, it, it was a cap deliberately minimal in terms of the changes, uh, but I think the signalling uh, was very strong, you know, who is going to be the next Prime Minister and, and, and I think that has been, uh, there's no doubt about it now. Mm. So looking at, at these, this promotion now for uh, Mr Heng, there are challenges ahead for him too, and, and specifically ahead of an anticipated general election, although we don't know exactly when that is. What are those challenges, Eugene? I think the, the main challenge would, of course, to, to ensure that the, the, the fourth generation leadership continue uh, to grow um, you know, as a team and that individually you know, they acquire a lot more experience and, and, and expertise in, 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 in the different facets of government. Um, and I suppose that the, the other important uh, challenge for Mr. Heng would be, you know, how do you get the fourth generation leadership, you know, to to become more visible, uh, you know, for Singaporeans to appreciate, you know, who they are, what do they stand for, and what sort of leadership styles they would take, um, you know. So, so I would see that, uh, you know, after the first of May, we will certainly see the fourth generation leadership, you know, acquiring a higher profile, um, and, and and I think that was really evident in the 2019 budget where many of the younger ministers were helming, uh, you know, the ministry's uh, uh, committee of supplies uh, debate. Um, so I, I think those are the two uh, main challenges. Um, you know, it, it's really important because uh, succession is so important, you know, to Singapore's success and, 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 and they have got to make it work. So speaking of um, the 4G leaders, who do you see among the next layer um, to be the potential um, deputy prime ministers? Well, I think th there wouldn't be, there shouldn't be too much of a doubt that um, you know when Mr. Hing becomes prime minister, uh, that uh, Trade and Industry Minister Chan Chun Singh, you know, would be made uh, would be make, made a deputy prime minister. I mean, he has already been designated as uh, Mr. Hing's successor, uh, you know, within the People's Action Party as the second assistant secretary general, um, and, and today's announcement, I think, in that sense, you know, confirm Mr. Hing's role not just as the leader of the ruling party, but also you know, the, 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 the Prime Minister in waiting. Um, so, so I think, you know, M M Minister Chan, you know, uh, would certainly be, you know, the, the prime candidate, you know, to be elevated to Deputy Prime Minister when Mr. Hing becomes uh, Prime Minister. Um, I, I think that there probably would not be a, too much of a haste, you know, to appoint, uh, you know, a second Deputy Prime Minister uh, when Mr. Hing becomes Prime Minister. Uh, but anything could happen. But, you know, but I think the, the main thing is that um, they are confident that you know there is sufficient depth within uh, the fourth generation leadership, you know, and that anyone, you know, or, or at least the core team, you know, would be ready to step up as and when uh, they are required to. Eugene, uh, just a quick final question for you about the movements uh, now of uh, the, de the deputy prime ministers that we 
that are now relinquishing their roles, Tharman Shunmugaratnam as well as Tutu Hin. They're going to have advisory roles now. They're going to be senior ministers. What does this tell us about the strategy of the PAP and uh, the role that they'll play going forward? Well, change and continuity, continuity for one, and, and two, certainly, you know, the, the, the PAP government is deep in election mode. Um, you know, so, you, so you want these people, these two gentlemen who have, you know, trim, uh, deep amount of, of ex experience and expertise and, and, and recognisable to the Singaporean public. Uh, you know, to 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 ensure Singapore, to assure Singaporeans that you know there is sufficient uh, experience and expertise still within uh, the, the the government. Um, so so I see them remaining in cabinet, but but now taking on a more mentoring role as senior ministers. You know, and but they will still oversee, you know, coordinating. Uh, play coordinating roles in terms of security and, 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 and economic and, and social policies. So still very much, um, you know, change amid co continuity, but the main thing is to assure that all the different stakeholders that, um, you know, things are going along very smoothly and that succession is going to plan. Eugene, thank you very much for coming into the studios and uh, giving us your perspectives on these uh, cabinet changes and, and shuffles. Uh, we've been speaking there to Eugene Tan, Associate Professor at the Singapore Management University's School of Law.